Hi YouTube, it's Tim here, and I got a comment from somebody who was not certain whether or not boiling water would be sufficient to fully soften PVC. I haven't seen anybody else do this yet, even though I know I've seen it done in tutorials on making things like potato gun projectiles, so I'm fairly confident it's going to work. Plus my, my own testing anecdotally using the heat gun, I've tested it on PVC pipe, with an infrared thermometer and I've discovered that it tends to soften in the range of 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there for a second and we can just uh, pull it out periodically to see if it is indeed softening as we expect it to. I currently have no plans to do anything with the PVC other than demonstrate, so even if I damage it, so far, still hard. Oh, and there we go. You can already bend it, you can already shape it. It's not fully soft, but I imagine another few seconds in there and it will be. So we're talking under a minute. Under a minute here, this is just half inch schedule 40. Thicker pipe, uh, larger pipe, and a greater ratio of pipe to water would also take longer. But if you had a trough, or a long channel that you could use for boiling wood, for example, you could also use it to boil PVC. Yep. That's definitely hot, but something that can be shaped. So I think we've gone and we can we can demonstrate that boiling water is absolutely adequate to soften PVC, at least enough to shape. It's not as hot as it is when you use the heat gun, you can get it a lot softer. But so far just in, like I said about 45 seconds to now about a, a minute and a half, we've seen it go from normal room temperature to flexible enough to bend in half. So I hope that sort of puts paid to the idea that boiling water is inadequate to shape PVC. Thanks for watching.